Hello, today I'm going to show you a wonderful tool called clipping. And clipping is a really neat way of controlling visibility of pixels and getting your, your photos or your images to match um, an existing shape or, or font or, or even hand-drawn stuff. Um, so I'm going to jump in and show you guys. I have this, this wonderful picture of a sunset and I would like that sunset to actually fit only in this rectangle. So I've got a rectangle, um, I've got my picture, and I could take my picture and you know resize it and try lining it up and such, but there's this, this really cool trick of, of clipping. And what I'm gonna do um, very easily is if you hover your cursor over in your layer stack, you take a look over here at my layers on between or I have my, my rectangle shape, and then directly above it, I have an image. If I hover between those two and I hold down the Alt key on my keyboard, you're going to notice that my cursor turns into this little box with an arrow pointing down. Now, if I click like that, you're going to see that I now see um, that that photo layer, the sunset picture, is now what's called clipped to the rectangle. What this means is I only see the pixels on that sunset picture where there are pixels in this rectangle layer. That works really well for this because now I can take my image and I can actually move it around, right? And I can, I can fit it in sort of how I want. I can also move my rectangle if I want to move my rectangle. Turn on auto select. I can move my rectangle around and see what I want to see. So the two are separate, but linked, right? And I can move my, my rectangle. This is great for building up sort of designs. I can move that around where I want to um, and control the visibility of the picture. This also works really well for things like make a copy of my layer, and I'm going to put that over the text that says clipping. Turn those off. Um, same thing, I can put my picture on, uh, and you put the image layer, the part that will be clipped, above wherever the pixel controlling layer is. In this case, it's text. So I can, again, hold down my Alt key and hover between the two layers, click, and now I see my sunset only where the text is, which is really pretty cool. And again, I can move the picture separate. I can move the text layer separate. And that text is still just text. So if I decide that I want to change the word, it still works. It feels like magic when you play with this. It's really pretty cool. You can stack as many of these as you want, as long as they are touching each other in the layer stack. So let's say, for example, I want to do just a solid color adjustment layer. And again, the adjustment layers are the circle that's half black, half white, tipped over right in the middle down there. And say I want to do maybe just a red. And right now it's filling the entire space. But if I hold down the Alt key and hover between there and clip, now my red layer is clipped to the sunset picture, which is clipped to the sunset text. I did that so that now maybe I can lower my opacity of my red layer and I can control and tweak the color settings to get something maybe even more interesting than just what the photo is. This works for anything where you have pixel versus no pixel. So I could conceivably um, do this with hand-drawn stuff as well or just pixel painted stuff. So I'm just gonna you know, maybe make it nice and big so you guys can see some sort of cool squiggly mark that's artistically um, beautiful and wonderful. You can look at it and say, well, that's beautiful. And I'm gonna put a copy of my sunset layer up there, put that on, and clip. And now I see it right only where the uh, pixels are. So if I want, maybe I can use my eraser, and erase it out and get some kind of cool effect. Maybe I wanna soften it up in my eraser. Right. So you can get all kinds of cool effects, hand-drawn, um, what we call vector, sort of some of these cool shapes, or even your custom shape tools. I want to put a sunset on a tree. Right. So there's my tree. 
and and clip these. And again, you can clip on and off. Same thing, you hold down the Alt key. There you go. You hold down the Alt key to clip or unclip. And now I have a sunset um, on my tree. Let me lower the opacity a little bit so you can see some of the tree. So yeah, very easily, um, as long as you can create pixels and as long as you can stack an image on top of that or a texture or whatever else you want, um, you can create some very easy, editable um, effects all using something called clipping. So have fun with that, and I look forward to seeing what you make.